while Beyonce's visual album release hinting at infidelity sent her fans into a lemon emoji frenzy. You may have missed the fuel-efficient car for today's ego-conscious clowns, how studying lovebirds is helping engineers, and the drone that drops fireballs. Enough said. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where it turns out putting chainsaws and handguns on drones wasn't all that crazy of an idea. The order was just a bit off. Now UAVs are being used to light fires on purpose as part of a tool to fight wildfires. Researchers from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln rigged up a system that lets a drone drop liquid fireballs every eight seconds while flying. It was tested on Friday and successfully used to start a planned burn across 26 acres of grassland. You could afford to have one of these on the back of your fire truck whereas you can't afford to have a full-size helicopter. The drones could either stop an out-of-control wildfire with a fire break or keep overgrowth from becoming kindling later on. Sure, the little fire starting balls seem effective, but so would sicking Styropyro, the laser freak, on the world. There's no, no good reason for anybody to own something this powerful. As if we needed further proof that Mother Earth knows best. Birds can dramatically change the shape of their wing almost instantly. Stanford engineers are studying our feathered friends to see what mechanical trickery makes up their wings design. In other words, they did it by building a one-of-a-kind wind tunnel to understand how exactly birds fly, messing with wind angles and turbulence to see how they react to it. Ideally then, engineers will design drones with these bird-like abilities. Also, they're becoming bird whisperers. I've been working with both lovebirds and parrotlets. That guy better take some birds home or I will be very disappointed in his clean-cut facade. Electric vehicles like Tesla's may be all the rage, but Shell, the oil company, has a fuel-efficient alternative in the works. Behold the Project M. This city car concept can reportedly drive more than 60 miles on little more than half a gallon of gas, and that's about 107 miles to the gallon. This is just a prototype, but the company says it'll be built mostly out of recycled carbon fiber and feature a bunch of high-tech toys like rear-facing cameras instead of side view mirrors. The only thing lacking appears to be legroom, which combined with the color scheme makes you wonder who this car was really built for. And finally, a very brave virtual reality gamer faced down a zombie apocalypse <laughs> and somehow she lived or died afterwards. Unclear. I needed volume after watching her, so she probably needed four. 